uh, it was missing when we took over and I not only set up this guy I also bought some RFID cards to program it as you can see hey everyone welcome back to the clueless dad today I'm going to show you how to set up one of these China keypad systems for locking and unlocking your door so here in Hong Kong uh, tons of offices use these things they have different brand names but they're almost all identical some have RFID some just have the keypad anyway uh, we just got this one set up and I figured out how to get the RFID cards to work and I'll show you how to do it. So um, if you haven't gotten one of these, this is like the instructions. Usually if you get it, they're all written in Chinese. So I've kind of deciphered, I think for the most part deciphered, and I wanted to just to give a quick intro. So if you have one of these, and this is a generic one, this one's called the, the Kuhn's K05C, I think if I can read it right, yeah, K05C. Um, there's tons of different names. I think the programming is very similar for all of them. Um, some of them have the RFID tag, some of them don't. RFID thing, basically, you can program a card. And let me see if I can get the right one. So yeah, you just get anywhere near it and it'll unlock. And in this case, this one's not programmed yet. So I'll show you how to program those in a separate video. But uh, I'll just run through the instructions in this video, as well as the layout and the setup, uh, for the most part, the basics at least. And I'll do a separate video for how to add and remove cards and reset the passwords and stuff like that because it's all in Chinese and it gets a little complicated, not that complicated. Anyway, check those videos out uh, separately. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so you may or may not have one of these things. This is the sheet of instructions that came with it. And if you do have it, that's good. But even if you do, you might not be able to read it because it's all in Chinese and there's no English instructions. Um, you might be able to find some in English instructions online, but uh, you don't know if that necessarily will match your particular keypad. But then again, all of the ones I've tried have basically the same key codes, so hopefully it will. If not, um, you know, good luck. Okay, so there's a bunch of functions on here. Uh, let's just quickly go through them. So the first one is to actually set like the admin passcode for this, not the door code, but basically the admin passcode allows you to basically add and remove and change the settings on this. So uh, this thing defaults to, I guess it's 9999, so if you haven't changed it, you probably should, and this is how you do it. I'll go through that separately. Um, second one is to add a card, and that's what we'll show you today. Okay, so in section three, there's sort of the card management, and there's three different functions. Uh, the first one is to delete all the cards or just erase the whole memory for cards. Uh, the second one, if I'm reading this correctly, is to uh, remove a card that you can scan. So basically, if you, um, if you, one of your employees is leaving or whatever, and he's returning the card, you can just basically deactivate it. So if you have the card with you, you can then swipe it and remove it doing this function. The third one is to actually uh, remove it by number. So as you uh, program it with the cards, it keeps track of the number. Like this is the second one we've added, the third one we've added, fourth one added. So if you write that down or mark the card so you know which one is which, uh, even if the guy lost it, you could basically say, okay, the 56th card is the one that we have to remove. Um, the problem is there's no, like in, there's no like visual thing here to tell which card is which, so you really have to keep track of it and um, you might have some holes and you know if you start getting to hundreds of cards there's no like verification of which card that you're adding when you add it so it's kind of only good if you're in the like tens of cards range maybe so the fourth section is for the door unlock mode so basically you have three choices one is to just use the cards which is basically the first one second one is if you use just the uh, secret code the door code I guess you could call it um, up till now, when we didn't have the cards, we had to use just the door code. And the problem with that is, let's say you have like one employee leaving. Well, in that case, you know, you have to change the door code every time someone leaves. So when we have 20 something employees, we have employees leaving maybe every couple of months. So that means you have to change the door code. People are going to forget the door code. Even for me, the guy who set the door code, sometimes I forget and I put in the old code. So yeah, so that's kind of a pain. The last one is either or. So that's actually not too bad because in that case, you know, your employees who have the card, they have the card. Uh, if you have a visitor come in or in your case like admin or you have a repair guy coming in, you could give him just a door code and then change it afterwards. So um, probably we'll have to do this one because in this case, like we have other employees visiting. I don't have to give them extra card key every time. So um, yeah, we'll probably do that and just really control who actually knows the number because maybe sometimes I forget to bring my card key too. Next up is setup of how long the door stays unlocked. I guess every time you swipe or type in the passcode, its default is six seconds. You can make that longer up to 99 seconds, um, which I guess is kind of dangerous, so probably shouldn't do it. But maybe six seconds is too short if there's people coming in and out with like 
baggage or something like that. Um, anyway, so there's some other stuff in here which I won't actually read through because it's too hard for me to read it. But um, yeah, and then here's like the setup in case you ever want to see the wiring. So basically you have the panel, you've got the inside door release button, which should be pretty simple. You have, this is I guess the uh, electric source. Um, so that basically connects to the power and whatnot, kicks and all this. I assume there's like a doorbell in here as well. And then here's like the actual magnetic latch. So there should be some relay in here that sends something a little bit stronger down there to uh, open it. And so yeah, it's pretty simple. Okay, I hope that was interesting for you guys. If you do get a chance, check out the other videos if you want to know specific things. Uh, I'll put links at the end and down in the uh, description, and I'll probably do a playlist too. So uh, let me know if you have questions. I'm going to keep a copy of this, uh, hopefully in my desk, and if you have very specific questions, otherwise you can refer to it here. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. You're on the Clueless Dad. Bye. You know, having the stroller with me all the time up in the overhead bin, as soon as we get off the plane, pull it out, unfold it, and walk off. You know, literally, that could save you 15, 20 minutes right there.